Hello, I um, finally um, found a brand new camera and I'm recording a uh, series. I want to record a, a series of videos about um, an aspect of language learning that I really, that I really like. Um, and it's about uh, pronunciation and intonation. So, uh, the, um, out, I did call uh, this video uh, native accent in foreign languages because. Uh, what I want to discuss today in, in the following uh, two videos is um, acquiring a native uh, accent in language learning. So when you pick up a language, the first question, the first three questions that you have to ask yourself it, are uh, the following. Is it uh, an effort worth making? Um, is it achievable for everyone? Uh, so me included. You, me. Um, and uh, should we simply strive for a intelligibility for being intelli intelligible for being understood uh, and just speak well uh, speak the language well and so should we strive for a uh, just a decent accent uh, and not a native like accent um, there's a group of people who think that speaking with a native uh, like uh, or a native accent is not uh, a very realistic goal because the majority of people uh, struggle with accents in general and so they just what they should do is just to enjoy the process of language learning and enjoy speaking the language uh, well uh, no matter how they speak well with it with a, an understandable accent uh, of course there's another group of people maybe uh, it's a minority who thinks that um, it is possible uh, to speak with a native like accent or native having a, a native like uh, pronunciation. I belong uh, to uh, this group of people because I think that uh, speaking um, an accent, uh, speaking a language well is the process of uh, a lot of work that you put into it, a lot of energy and passion, but for me it's, it is something feasible. It takes time of course. Um, so uh, the first, uh, yeah, there, there's another series of questions that one should uh, ask uh, oneself before uh, continuing is that um, what are the barriers of uh, talking uh, a language well there's a lot of uh, there are ma two main uh, factors there's a lot of factors but um, I just um, try to visualize two main factors uh, here and the first one is uh, it is a psychological factor and there's a lot of people especially uh, in adulthood um, who fear uh, appearing clumsy in front of a native speaker um, who uh, fear saying something inappropriate or afraid of saying something inappropriate or uh, like having a conversation with a lot of pauses um, and there is also a physical factor that is um, the uh, the fact that speaking a language is also a matter of articulating sounds with your mouth your tongue with with your mouth your tongue the mu your muscles uh, your throat Glottis. There's a lot of uh, of things involved in in the process, so it's, it is both psychological but also physical. In in general, uh, native like pronunciation is a result of uh, picking up language, uh, in learning to pronounce um, words, single words, uh, very well, and then moving on to uh, the intonation of a whole sentence. The problem is that uh, learning. Um, Learning a set of sounds, because every language has a limited set of sounds, is feasible. Uh, it's something that um, will take time, of course, as, as it always is the case with languages. But uh, given the uh, uh, the limit of the of this set of sounds, it is possible to, know, to learn it. There's, uh, for example, uh, analytical tools such as IPA that uh, can come in handy in this process. Uh, and of course, there's uh, the aid and help of a native speaker. So in this regard, it is uh, something, uh, an aspect that can be analyzed in language learning. The problem is that uh, when somebody speaks a language very well or native with a native-like pronunciation, they figured out in a way, their brain figured out in a way how to utter sentences in the right way. That means to they picked up the musicality of a language. So in a way, it is not in the musicality of a language that is the flow of words and the way they are uh, aggregated and attached together is something that cannot be analyzed as easily as um, as the single words of a language and this is a, a very important aspect in language learning a lot of books 
um, don't uh, just consider this aspect. They do take into account that there's a musicality of a language, maybe in the introduction, they just uh, um, deliver um, a small uh, and brief introduction about on this aspect of, of languages, but they don't um, dig into it. I'd like to, uh, in this first uh, video, I'd like to uh, make a, take a, an example of my mother tongue, which is Italian. Um, let's consider, for example, a single word, a single word, a verb like uh, "let's take," which is "prendiamo." If you, if if one considers just this word, which is "prendiamo," uh, this is a three-syllable uh, word. Um, right now, uh, if you know Chinese tones, it would be even easier to understand. But Italian is not a tonal language, but you can use pitch and you can use tone, Chinese tones. Uh, to describe it. If you say Prindiamo, for example, you have, for all those who have already uh, dabbled in Chinese who oh, speak it well, um, in Italian, if you have a three-syllable word and, and the uh, accent, the, the uh, uh, tonic, it's called accento tonico, which is the falling tone falls on the second syllable, everything that precedes this, um, this accento tonico is up, is pronounced like a first tone in Chinese. Then you have the accento tonico, and then you stay low. So in this case, you say prin. So it's prendiamo. Prendiamo. Okay, this is this the this is uh, the single word. But the problem. Okay, let's let's suppose that you have learned uh, how to perfectly pronounce this word. But let's suppose that you have to uh, to uh, to say to talk to your friends while driving on, on a uh, you know driving to somewhere, and you have to say let's take the highway, and you say. Prendiamo l'autostrada. If you take a look, if you if you listen attentively to this sentence, there's a tonal shift because in the single word you say prendiamo, but here you have prendiamo l'autostrada because in Italian they attach Italian attaches blocks of words, and if if you consider the whole in this in this case you consider a whole. Sent a whole sentence. This is just one word in Italian. Prendiamo l'autostrada. And since the auto, autostrada falls on uh, strada, all the things that precede the falling tone is up. So you don't say anymore uh, prendiamo, but you say prendiamo l'autostrada. So there's a tonal shift. This is just a, a very tiny example to explain to you that. Uh, Pronouncing uh, pronouncing words correctly, learning how to pronounce uh, uh, single phonemes and words correctly does not uh, necessarily mean that you can uh, pronounce a sentence very well. So in in the following video, which is video two, I will try to uh, visualize a more uh, concrete um, methodology uh, to uh, that that I personally use. I don't I don't think you can find it in books here. Although there are a lot of books talking about intonation, but this is more like a pragmatical way of dealing with intonation and not pronunciation of single uh, sounds. So thanks for listening to me and see you in the next video.